Hey, Tony here. Today I want to show you what I purchased from the Kino Lorber, so stick around. So I recently received two orders from Kino Lorber that I had recently placed, and I wanted to take time today to show you what all I got. So we have two boxes. I'm going to go ahead and start with the first box. I definitely enjoy ordering from Kino Lorber. Um, they've got some really unique titles. They always have some really good prices on their items. Um, and now even better is that they include slip covers on a lot of their titles, which I do love a slip cover. So in this first box, we have Night Gallery Season 1. I grew up watching Night Gallery, and when I saw that they were releasing this, I was just very thrilled. Um, very happy to have this one. Hopefully they'll continue this until we get all the episodes. So very happy to have this with this really nice looking slip cover. Okay, next up we have The Comedy of Terrors with Vincent Price. Looks very good. We have Masters of the World, which I'm not very familiar with. It's got Vincent Price and Charles Bronson in it. That's pretty interesting. We have another Vincent Price movie, The Raven. I love the artwork on this. I definitely enjoy the old art style that they used to do on the older movies. Very nice to have that one with a slipcover. And then we have Cato's Land. I guess you would say Cato's Land. Um, but with this, it's got Charles Bronson and Jack Palance, Jack Palance in it. Really interesting cover. I do love I do love a good western. Kino Lorber does really great with the older westerns. Okay, we have Tomb of Legia. Edgar Allan Poe with Vincent Price. So there must have been a really big release of um, Vincent Price films from Kino. And then we have this Steve Martin film, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. Not very familiar with this one. It's a Carl Reiner film, black and white. I think that right there would be pretty good. I've never actually heard of that. Then we have Golden Needles. Not very familiar with this one either, but it came with a slipcover. What I was trying to do was trying to get everything that I saw that came with the slipcover that I didn't already have. Um, Arabesque. Gregory Peck and Sophia Loren. Looks interesting. Almost like a spy movie, I guess. Okay, the next two I've got is The Last Man on Earth, which was which came with a slip cover. I guess I didn't get it in time to get the slip. So I'll be hunting that one down on eBay. And we have Theater of Blood. Another Vincent Price movie. This right here also came with a slip that I didn't get. So that is the first box. Okay, the next box I've got um, has already been opened a few weeks ago. These are titles that I've received already. Some of these will already be put in plastic bags that I got. Um, but this is the week that um, I got the Silence of the Lambs. Really nice looking 4K release. Very happy to have this one in the collection. And then also this was the release where we got Misery. Really love the artwork on this 4K release. Look at all the details there in those where it says Misery everywhere. That just looks amazing to me. I love this film and very happy to have this one in the collection. First up we have Trackdown. Um, not very familiar with this one. It's got Eric Estrada and let's see, Kathy Lee Crosby, I believe. So that's a nice one with a slip. We have The Valdez Horses with Charles Bronson, another Western. Really nice looking artwork in the slip. We have Clint Eastwood in Coogan's Bluff. We also have Stranger on the Run. Another Western. Let's see, we have The Indian Runner. Now, somebody recommended this one to me. Not very familiar with it. But I do remember somebody recommended that I pick that one up. Then we have Trick or Treats. With a slip cover. We have Vera Cruz. Really neat looking artwork. Another Western. We have Kojak the Night Stalker. 
I'm not very familiar with this. This is the complete series. Um, I know that they pre um, previously released season one and season two separately. Um, so I've got the complete series. I messed out on those. We have The Victim with Elizabeth Montgomery. Really nice looking artwork on this one. Okay, we have Puffin Stuff. So I grew up watching Santa Marty Croft shows growing up in the 70s. Um, this right here is HR Puffin Stuff. I love this growing up as a kid. I don't think I've ever seen this. I think this is a movie that they did prior to the TV series maybe. But, I mean, look at that. It's very nostalgic. We have The Screaming Woman with Olivia de Havilland. I live, I live with a screaming woman. She screams every time she sees the mailman show up. Okay, we have Scream Pretty Peggy with Betty Davis. Really love the art style on this one. Never seen this one. I do enjoy the old ones. We have Lilies of the Field. Um, I've actually got the Twilight Time version of this, but I did want to get this version also. I think it might have different special features on it. And we have Hard to Hold with Rick Springfield. So, growing up in the 70s and the 80s, especially the 80s, I remember how popular Rick Springfield was back in those days. Um, and he had a couple of good um, albums back then. And I remember that, um, I, I do remember liking the songs that were on that album. And I believe a lot of those are featured in here. I did see this one growing up. Um, don't really remember much about it. I remember it not being very good, but it did have a lot of his songs in it. So very happy to have that one. So those are my pickups from um, Kino Lorber for the, ta for the last two shipments that they sent. I'm very happy to have these in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've seen any of these films and what you think about them. Let me know what you think about some of these older westerns. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.